Welcome back sa ating lesson. So, nasa week 2 na tayo. And our objectives, define and identify the arithmetic sequence. Find the n term of an arithmetic sequence. What is an arithmetic sequence or arithmetic progression? It is a sequence of numbers such that the difference between two consecutive terms is constant, called the common difference. So, ito yung sequence na kung saan kapag nag-subtract ka, the same ang makukuha mo. That's why we called the answer common difference. Now, how to solve it? To find the n term of an arithmetic sequence, use the formula. Ano yung formula natin? A sub n is equal to A sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. So, sa formula natin, we have A sub n. That is the n term. Ano yung hahanapin mong term? Pang ilan ba siya? Pangalawa? Pangatlo, pang lima. A sub 1 is the first term. So, yung pinakaunang term, that is our A sub 1. N is the number or position of the term. So, yung N natin, ito yung mga position. Pang ilan siya sa term. And D is the common difference. Ito yung panag-subtract ka. Yung makukuha mong sagot, that is called D. The common difference. So, let us first identify if the given sequence is an arithmetic or not. So, again, you have to subtract from right going to the left. 13 minus 11 is 2. 11 minus 9 is 2. 9 minus 7 is 2. 7 minus 5 is 2. What is now the common difference? D is equal to 2. So, yun ang nakuha mong sagot na pare-pareho. Therefore, the given, it is an arithmetic sequence. Okay, let's proceed to number 2. Again, just subtract. 35 minus 28. 7. 28. Minus 21, that is 7 also. 21 minus 14, 7. And 14 minus 7 equals 7. What is the common difference? D is equal to 7. So therefore, it is an arithmetic sequence. Number 3, again, mag-subtract ka, 13 minus 17, negative 4, 17 minus 21, negative 4, 21 minus 25, negative 4, 25 minus 39, negative 14. Is there a common difference? None. So, kahit na pare-pareho yung mas marami, basta may nasalit dyan na isa na hindi ka pareho ang sagot, wala ka ng common difference. Therefore, it is not an arithmetic sequence. How will you find the n term of an arithmetic sequence? So, let us consider the example. 3, 7, 11, 15, 19, 23. Can you give its 7 term? 10th term? How about the 20th term? Or 100th term? Okay. Let's proceed to the solution. So, dito, kunin natin ang 7th term. Hindi muna tayo gagamit ng formula. So, i-identify mo lang yung common difference. 
just add 4. Why? 23 plus 4 is 27. So, ang 7th term natin is 27. Okay, kunin natin yung common difference. That is 4. Now, gagamitan na natin ang formula. A sub n is equal to A sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. So, that is an example of arithmetic sequence. So, kung nakita nyo na pare-pareho ang kanilang common difference, pwede mo nang gamitin yung formula natin. What is our A sub 7? So, yung A sub 7 nagre-represent yan na pang pitong sequence yung ating hinahanap. N is equal to 7. So, bakit 7? Kasi nga, pang 7 na term yung hinahanap natin. Ano yung sequence na pang 7? So, yung N natin is 7. Then, our D is equal to 4. Ito yung common difference mo nung nag-subtract ka. Then, your A sub 1 is 3. Ito yung first term mo sa given na sequence. Now, let us use the formula. Now, let us solve A sub 7. Again, use the formula. Your A sub n is A sub 7. Just substitute all the values. Then your A sub 1 is 3. Your n is 7 minus 1. Then your D is 4. Then after substituting, simplify mo na. Unahin mo yung nasa parenthesis. That is 7 minus 1. And your answer is 6. Then multiply mo yun sa 4. The answer is 24. So, pwede ka nang mag-add. 3 plus 24, and that is 27. So, ayun siya. Yung sagot natin, 27. Now, you can try to solve 10th term and 20th term. Okay, let us now explain the solution. A sub 10 is equal to the unknown. So, A sub 10 yung ating hinahanap. Anong term yung pang sampo? So, our N is equal to 10, your A sub 1 is 3, and D is equal to 4. Now, just use this formula. Then, after using the formula, you have to substitute the values. A sub n will become A sub 10. Why? Pang sampung term yung ating hinahanap. Kaya yung n mo, magre-represent ng 10. Then your A sub 1 is 3. Ito yung term na una. Then 10 minus 1. Yung n mo is 10. Then your D is 4. Then after this, simplify. Simplify mula yung nasa parenthesis. 10 minus 1 is 9. Then, multiply mo yung 9 sa 4. That is 36. Pwede ka nang mag-add. 3 plus 36. And your answer is 39. Next example, A sub 20. Again, use the formula. A sub n is equal to A sub 1 plus n minus 1 times D. Now, your, your A sub n will become A sub 20. Why? Kasi nga, pang 20 na term yung hinahanap mo. Again, your A sub 1 is 3. Plus, yung n mo, that is 20. Minus 1. Then, times mo sa 4. After you substitute the value, you have to simplify. Unahin mo yung nasa parenthesis. 20 minus 1 is 19. Then, multiply mo yun sa 4. Your answer is 76. So, pwede ka nang mag-add. 3 plus 76. 
And that is 79. Your A sub 20. Now, what is the 100 term? So, you can now try. Your A sub 100 is equal to 399. So, more example. What is the common difference in, in an arithmetic sequence? Negative 10, negative 6, negative 2, 2, 6, and 10. Your D is equal to 4. Number 2. Find the value of a sub n whose a sub 1 is 6, d is equal to 3, and n is equal to 11. Your answer is a sub 11 is equal to 36. Number 3 example, what is a sub 17 when a sub 1 is 12 and d is equal to 4? Okay, your answer is A sub 17 is equal to 76. For number 4, determine the value of A sub 40 when A sub 1 is equal to X, D is equal to 2X, and N is equal to 40. And the answer is A sub 40 is equal to 79x. Okay, thank you for watching. So, sana may natutuhan tayo. So, doon naman tayo sa second part ng ating arithmetic sequence. For the continuation.